Hello everyone, this is Johnny M and this time we are playing Stronghold Crusader 2. And if you've come here to see competitive gaming from me, then this is not the right place. Because just as with many other games, I like to play this one in a more uh, relaxed mode. You know, after a long day at work, uh, you just want to come home and relax and uh, listen for an audiobook while you're, you're playing. So for me, the Stronghold series uh, always have been uh, a sandbox game. Uh, this is why today we are going to play uh, single player and sandbox. Uh, what map should we choose? Let's choose for the first time, let's choose um, an easy one, which have plenty of uh, uh, green, of grass, because grass uh, is needed for uh, farming. And uh, farming is required to, in order to provide your population with, uh, with food and uh, drinks. So we are choosing uh, the map, the beach. The game should load uh, quite fast. Greetings, sire. The desert awaits you. Place your stockpile. Okay, so own. the first uh, thing that we should do is to put the stockpile, which. Uh, here uh, I will put it a little bit away uh, from the base, and I'll tell you why later. Sight so, your granary, sire. Uh, the next thing you should place the granary, and we want to put the granary next to the stockpile. Uh, the granary is where uh, the food is stored, and the stockpile is where all your stock. Is holding. So once you do this, uh, your people uh, start to uh, appear, and you have eight out of eight. And in this game, uh, you can, uh, for civil units, you can directly um, move them. So they will do their thing if you provide the uh, the work for them. Uh, only the military units uh, you can. Uh, move around okay so our people consume food right now it's 15 breads a day and this gives us uh, nine uh, happiness or uh, approval I guess it's called okay so first of all we have uh, 50 hundreds of wood but this will soon be consumed so first we that we should do is we should uh, place uh, some uh, wood camps that will produce wood and you should place them near uh, near where the wood is and here I placed one and here by default the game is running uh, slowly but pressing plus you can increase the speed okay so now hopefully we'll have at least some supply of wood or maybe I should I should even put two more just to be sure okay so we so four from our eight people are now employed now we should uh, we should produce some food uh, there are different types of food like apples like pig farm uh, dairy farm and this is in hopes are for drink to make uh, ale yeah but the most um, uh, the most complicated uh, food industry is uh, wheat farm and bread making but it's also the most uh, rewarding. So what we'll do, we will be two wheat farm farms. Okay, uh, all the farms you should place them uh, on grass. So if you don't have grass on your map, you'll have to buy the food. 
or if you have animals uh, I don't know right now but it used to be in previous version it, it used to be like a hunter's house I guess, I guess there there isn't one here so our um, peasants will make uh, wheat uh, and you, you need meal we'll make let's say one meal and uh, we need bakeries that will so uh, the meal will process the wheat into uh, flour This is the flower here, it's at zero. And then the bakeries will produce uh, bread from flour. Let us put, put the bakeries here. Not enough workers available to run this building. So if you don't have enough workers, then you just build a home. And home will accommodate by default eight people, but only if it's very close to uh, the, the fortress. The farther you go, the less and less people. Like here, two people just. As people, I assume, like to uh, live near their uh, their sire, as they call it. Okay, so once you put a house, eight more people will appear, but you have to take in consideration that eight more people will also uh, eat more bread so you have to produce more bread so we have to pay attention to our bread stock which is falling right now probably we should make more bakeries Yeah, and you have to watch uh, each need. Also, there is a tax rate, which is our gold making. Which this is one way of making gold. You can increase it, but when you increase it, the tax rate, uh, the happiness decreases. So you have to compensate by by providing people with other needs to increase their happiness. So I increase the tax rate now we have 60 we make 60 gold each day Sources uh, in this game, uh, not specifically on this map, but on some maps there is uh, there is uh, iron, like here. This is iron and uh, stone, and you need stone to build uh, for warfare like uh, stone walls, uh, towers, gate houses. Yeah, but as I said, I always play it uh, in a sandbox mode. I don't have a specific goal, I set the goals for myself, like to maximize your gold. Now that we produce enough food, so for some reason our people are unsure of you, sire. Okay, so they are unsure of me for some reason. Again, there are. 
happen. Oh, I I understand. So we used to have multiple types of food, <coughs> which will give more happiness. But now that we have just one type of food, which is bread here, the happiness uh, you don't receive any happiness from the food. So types eaten is one. Okay. But we can make ale, which will increase their happiness. Let's do this. So first of all, we need to place some hops farms. Okay, two farms. And then... We need brewer brewery. Oh, okay. I have to raise it. Put it here. So two breweries, and we uh, should soon see our ale rising. It used to be that you had uh, the number of inns was dependable uh, upon the number of your population. Now I guess it's just one. This inn building is enough. currently functioning, my lord. So these are the hopes, hopes, and this is the ale. Let's see, so people... are drinking 4 ales a day and we are producing 12 a day. And this gives us 8 happiness. Okay. We can increase the dose of ale they drink. This will give us 14 happiness. But we also can increase the tax rate. Let's increase the population and see what happens. Let's try to decrease the tax rate to zero and we will receive five. Okay. And there is one more source that you can produce and distribute to population that's uh, candles it's religion but uh, religion used to work uh, differently in previous game 
Now you have to produce candles and people consume candles. I guess they pray, they consume candles. Let's build some some iron mines. Hmm, just two. mine requires two people and then we need to build oaks tether four here and four here and the oaks will uh, carry the iron to your uh, stockpile. Once you have your iron, you can produce uh, in different workshops, you can produce weapons or armor. Let's first build an armory, which is a stockpile for uh, ammunition. the map because I forgot how this is done okay so holding the middle button see we are building stockpile of iron which is here 170 we have right now it's a lot now these guys will come to the stockpile and take a piece of iron I assume it's one and from each piece of iron they'll they'll produce uh, one piece of uh, armor and as you can see we have a stockpile uh, of weapons and armors already we can manually sell them so here 
small bribe. Jolly good. There was a way of automatically selling uh, your excess stock. Needed me, Lord. Okay, so we're out of wood. We'll have to wait for some time. We can make more wood. Fifty pieces. people either uh, you want to make money from taxes and then you make less services to them uh, either uh, you make more services to them either you put your tax rate at zero and then you don't provide them services but you produce something and you sell the excess Not enough goods. Okay, so I my tax rate is at zero. So uh, at this point we can uh, we may not uh, produce any ale. Let's try to do this. Okay. Work halted, my lord. So I stopped uh, the hops production, which is this. After that, uh, when all the hops will be consumed, I will stop the ale making. things from the market so if uh, we don't have enough wood we can just buy it. a 
let's raise the taxes since we have ale. So when will it will run out of ale? We can then lower the taxes and not like make money from taxes. Let's deal more woodcutters. Eventually, when we'll have enough wood, or after we will harvest all these trees, I will just uh, destroy all these woodcutters. Not enough goods. Oh, I know how to automatically buy and sell. Have to build a market. Right. But we don't have enough wood. Here, as you can see, we make auto sell. And you set the level. Everything that's above, let's say, 50, it will automatically sell it. Let's wait and see. As you can see, if the level rises above 50, it will auto sell, which is great. So you can decide what you want to produce and then just uh, sell out the excess. Sire. Okay, let's wait for the wood. So here is the 
iron which is stuck temporarily and then an ox comes and it just sucks all the iron so oaks do not require uh, people or housing they're independent so you can build as many uh, oaks as you have money and uh, space Basically, factory of armor. Armor. Also, of course, if we wouldn't have this uh, iron here, in theory, we should set the ma we could set the market to automatically buy iron and then sell armors because iron so to buy one piece it's 40 oh, it's 40 I guess 5 so buy so yeah it's 40 per, or 5 units which is 8 8 per unit then you sell which is 16 per unit one armor. So you double your money by make. plenty you see because we produce uh, 112 but we, we we eat 116 and it looks like uh, the bakeries can keep up at least for now because we have wheat and flour but we don't make enough uh, Bread. Okay, let's build them one bakery and see what happens. It will be nice if we would have like a new flow, an outflow of, of each product to see. This building is currently functioning, my lord. No taxes, that's nice. Okay. Hmm. The made daily is even lower. Although I built one more bread producer. One more baker. Oh no, this is not a baker. Okay. No, it is. I don't get it. Okay, so I guess now is the right time. So 
So the ale is almost almost zero. Okay, so we don't have hopes. So we can work halted, my lord. Stop the production of uh, ale. We can make two more armories or three even. As you can see, our money is rising. Let's put our taxes to zero. And our L ratio to zero. And then we can stop this. And we have one more. Can't map. place that there, my lord. So we still have stock ale. If it bothers us, we can sell it. Not enough goods. Yeah, and this is, as you can see, is uh, a representation of what you have in the on the stockpile. Because it's uh, it, it always it always look looks full. It used to be that when the stockpile was full, you had to extend it in the previous version. But now it's uh, it's just one piece. And uh, you can basically indefinitely uh, put and take out uh, things. Eight more people. Let's see what happens. production
Enough wood, my lord. Okay. Though we can buy Work wood. halted, my lord. Let's try to buy it automatically. The market. We go to the wall and say auto buy. To have always. Let's say 100. Yes. And now we can produce. and place as many. see we are lower and lower on flour which means that we would need another meal at least we don't have enough food we should tell it to auto buy uh, two uh, 200 Halted, my lord. Our iron production and tell the market to keep 100 units or 50, let's say. 50 units of iron. Okay. And now, as you can see, we are totally dedicated to making armor. Armors. Three people. Let's make them work. Yeah, now our wheat is also dropping, so we'll have to build at least one more wheat farm. And farms should be as close as possible to uh, the stockpile, because they wither. So the more time it takes for for the guy to walk from the farm to the stockpile, the faster we are. At least uh, it works this way with uh, the hops, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's the same with uh, wheat.
Let's increase our population further to 102 people. I assume right now we will need more bakeries. Did your lordship? For me, it sounds like your old shit. Although I assume it's something different. Unfortunately, I am out of time, so I'll have to finish this episode here. In the next episode, we might continue to play this map, uh, or we can do something else. We shall see. Anyway, if you have any comment or suggestion, please write it in the comment section. Also, like, definitely subscribe, and again, definitely come for next time where we will play this game either farming simulator or something different entirely and I hope I will see you bye bye